morning and happy Monday everybody. We are literally just back from school and Alfie is not happy because he doesn't have school today. So I'm in my hallway. It's always really dark in my hallway. I have a very bright light but it's not on. Um, Alfie insists on putting his school bag on every time we bring Owen to school even on days he doesn't need it. But the problem is that he thinks he's going every day himself. He loves it so much that there I had a bit tantrum running on the ground because we were not getting in the car to bring him to school after. So again, so it's Monday. My friend Therese and her youngest daughter Tilda is coming, so I'm sure that will cheer him up. Um, and then this afternoon, it's quite busy, but I'll just talk you through it as we do everything. So I'll see you after Therese is away. As Therese is away, first step, it's now 10 to 2, is to go and pick up Owen's school. Do I have some black under my eye? Yeah, I do. And as usual, Alfie insisted on wearing his school bag, even though he doesn't have school today. Let's go Alfie and we'll play with that after, okay? Let's go and get Owen. Let's go. So we now collected Owen and we are at the tra train station to collect James and we are much earlier than usual because today James is getting his hormone injection at the GP this afternoon. So I'm picking him up early, then I'm bringing him over to the GP. While he's getting his injection, we are going to go to the post office to post my orders. Then we're going to get back in the car. We're going to go to a different town. That's next to us where I am getting my eyebrows threaded. I know it doesn't look that bad but believe me they're actually not I don't know if you can see but there's loads of little hair <laughs> so I'm gonna get my eyebrow threaded I want to go to the shop the works because they sell some um, scrub booking papers and all that but in England they have some Hand that's okay you don't need to hold his hand uh, there's some scrapbooking paper that some people have been I've bought in that shop in England that I really want uh, there's Christmas ones and uh, it's only a pack like it's three pounds pack and there's loads of stuff inside so I want to see if I can find it um, I'm having a very bad belly day today so I'm hoping I can do all this and if all goes well we'll go to it and rub it. yes whenever my belly is bad Owen kisses it and rubs it to make it better so we'll see if it comes down okay. and uh, next up we're gonna go to Asda to collect some uh, snacks that we can only find there and hopefully now James should be home soon should be home should be there back from the train people are getting out so we'll see I don't know which way this is gonna come out but People coming out this way and people coming out this way and there's this train leaving again. I hope he didn't miss the train because people are coming out but I don't see him. Oh, there's more people coming. That's reaching. There he is. There's James coming. Why do you not go around? Good morning and happy Tuesday. It is 8 o'clock and we've brought James to the train station. I usually put the boys in the pajamas in the car because we have to leave at 20 past 7 to bring him. So um, I just put them in their pyjamas and then dress them after but Alfie um, was wet because his nappies tend to overflow a lot at night at the moment um, so I had to change him. So Alfie is dressed, I'm dressed. I, ha I woke up earlier to get a shower and wash my hair because it was a disaster. Also I'm very happy because my eyebrows are a lot neater and um, yes Owen is having his breakfast and getting dressed. I'm gonna to go to school. Alfie has school for one hour this morning from half nine till half ten. So I am going to um, um, phone after phone like the bank and phone like, like the boring phone calls that have to be made um, to do admin stuff that are not very practical to make when you have screaming children around you. Those. I'm going to do that while he's away. I only have usually about 35 minutes in the house so it's not very long but that should be enough. And if I have time, I will tidy up the living room, but otherwise it will happen later. Owen has swimming on Tuesdays, so I don't pick James up at the train station if dad does it. Uh, but after school, we'll just have a little bit of a relaxing time before we head off to swimming again. Um, so yeah, Tuesday is kind of go, 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 but it's good. Also, I have mixed this from my garden. It has baking soda and things like that. And despite it being in a container that's closed, I think because it's at the window with the sun, can you see there the way it's, there's some that came out? It's like baking soda and, all, and there's some on the window too. So I don't know if it's pierced a hole somewhere or if it comes out 
somehow I don't know, I don't get it. Maybe it comes out by the tiny hole there and drips down. It's very weird. Anyway, I'm going to clean that off. I'm not going to need it for the winter, so I'm going to empty the bottles. I have, like, I make some um, organic uh, insecticides. And so one is for insects, the green one. And one is for things like fungus and all that, which is the grey one. Um, I mix them myself with this mostly oil baking soda, um, organic washing up liquid and things like that. So I'm not going to need them for the winter. So I will clear them out so I can clean my windowsill properly. Also I need to show you something. Can you see my hair tray is going all red and I love, I love it, love it so much. It's like a very autumnal thing there with the pumpkins and the red tree. I don't know if the apple and pear trees are going to do that. The raspberries, the old ones, are starting to go yellow. But the new ones are actually have new raspberries. I don't know if you can see. Can you see up there? The raspberries? They're not just ripe enough yet, but they are really nice. Train station run done. School run number one done. Time for school run number two. And then I get half an hour to myself before I go for another school run to pick him up again. It's the afternoon now and I've picked up Owen in school, been back for about an hour and today I've had a difficult morning <laughs> once I picked Alfie up. I don't know if you'll be able to see there. Can you see the way I have cut there? Doesn't look like much but earlier Alfie um, it was playing with the blinds, those blinds. They are broken, there's usually a chain holding these weights inside that so there's like plastic bits in the middle which are quite heavy and they have these things sticking out and he was going like this and I told him off and he just went harder and he flung these in my face and one corner hit my head and it was bleeding quite a bit. Uh, I, The pain was really bad, it's as I said quite heavy and um, I just felt the pain and then I put my hand there as a reflex and there was blood all over my hand and I thought oh great and I freak out with see blood so oh my god it was great I ended up having a panic attack and then I cleaned it all up and I realized it's actually nothing but it's bloody sore I've now asked Owen if he could entertain Alfie up the stairs so I can lay down for 20 minutes on the couch um, I'm just extremely tired <laughs> And um, if you have panic attacks in the past, you will know what I mean when I say it drains you so much. It's really bad. And it happened uh, probably about three hours ago, roughly. And I am not able to shift that feeling entirely. We're going to swimming um, at six o'clock. Is it six o'clock? Yes, six o'clock. So I'm going to make, I have an hour and a half before I need to make food for them and get them ready. Owen is already, already has his swimsuit on, at least that's done. So there's still plenty of time, but I'm going to put something silly on TV. And Owen is playing with Alfie. We've got some mega blocks out and hopefully be able to play nicely. I do want to mention I have the baby phone on so I can hear everything that's going on. And Owen is a very sensible child, so if there's the slightest thing, he will come and get me. But yeah, for now I'm just gonna lay down on the couch for 20 minutes. Good morning and happy Wednesday. It is quarter past 10. I have to leave again in about 10 minutes. And so far, I've brought James to the train station at half eight. I went to school at nine. Then I went to get the shopping at quarter past nine. Alfie in play school at half nine. And then I came home. I put the shopping away. I have updated my planner with some days they ever since Alfie's school. And I'm just about to start editing last week's uh, weekly vlog. And I have to go again. It's, it's, almost, it's like a constant running. Uh, hopefully from next week Alfie will start going longer. That depends on how the children are settling. But they seem to be mostly fine. So I'm hoping I will get an extra half hour from next week. And then eventually by Halloween time it will be two and a half hours that Alfie is in there. So I'll get two full hours in the mornings to work which is great. Uh, tonight I'm getting my eyelashes redone. I don't know if you remember but before I went to France uh, the girl I go to all the time and who is amazing um, there was an issue with one of the products she used and it was a setting lotion which means that my eyelashes didn't keep the curl um, and the tint faded quicker than usual. She wasn't sure what happened with it but she bought a new one and she's redoing my eyelashes for free tonight because it's always worked in the past so there's no reason why it shouldn't work 
but uh, yes yeah, so that will be good I had them th my eyebrows threaded uh, on Monday so they will get tinted tonight as well as my lashes and then on Saturday I'm going to get a haircut which I cannot wait for because my hair is driving me nuts at the moment um, so yeah I'm getting it chopped quite a bit it's uh, down the middle of my back at the moment I have a plait there so it doesn't really show the actual length but uh, I'm gonna get it chopped to my shoulder length I think because um, I just feel like it and I actually quite liked it the last time I did that so I'm gonna do that and uh, hopefully it makes me feel a little bit better about myself I haven't been feeling very um, happy about my appearance lately um, I don't have the time to make an effort properly and um, it's just, I don't know I can't get my hair to sit right my eyebrows were a mess now that i feel a bit better already that my eyebrows have been threaded so i'm hoping that tonight already i feel a lot better and then on saturday it will feel great uh update on my head situation um i know it probably looks ridiculous from here but it really hurts i have to I had to change my parting to a lower parting usually it's about there um because um whenever i do it the other way the it pulls on my scalp and it really hurts so in the meantime, while it's properly healing, I will do it like this, but um, yeah, it's not a big deal, but it really hurt me and I was really scared of the bleeding yesterday, but it's all better now. I will laugh about it soon, I'm sure. Anyway, I'm going to go and get a bit of the editing started and then go and get Alfie and then then I don't know, then all will depend on what mood he is in because he can be a monster at the moment, <laughs> we'll see you later on. I am back from the beauty therapist appointment, as you may notice from my better looking face. Um, my eyelashes definitely worked this time, as you can see, I have no mascara on there, this is just uh, the treatment and then my eyebrows are slightly too dark for the minute, but it's always the way they do fade, like over the first few days. Um, so I'm very pleased and my face is looking much better and once I have this bit of hair chopped off and my hair looks a bit healthier I'll feel much much better again. I'm gonna stop for today and continue in the morning. I'm gonna have some pizza and watch the TV. Bye! Good morning and happy first day everyone. It's getting to the second half of the week. I'm probably gonna say that every week. I like it when it gets when once it has passed because it means it's hump day passed and then it's down to the weekend. Um, the boys are up and having their breakfast, and I have the school bags ready and lunchbox ready, and I'm currently doing what I do every morning, is tidy up because no, this is all clean and folded. This is all clean and folded. But during the day, like yesterday I brought the shopping back and I never finished to put everything away. So, during the day I just throw things everywhere around the kitchen. And usually I tidy up most of it in the evening. But last night I had my appointment and when I came home I was really tired. And I ended up going to bed at 10 because I was too tired. I've been going to bed much, late, much earlier lately, which is good because I needed more sleep. Um, I'm going to share a night time with you, which is a bit random, but... Um, I know some of you who are watching have specific medical conditions for which they need to take medication and we bought something lately. James has to take um, different medication at certain times of the day and um, it was hard to remember everything and made sure sometimes he didn't remember if he had taken it or not. So we have a new system. We got this which uh, a, we got on Amazon. So it has a little box that you can take out. So for example, today's Thursday. There's four compartment and um, you just put the things in and whenever it's finished, you put it back on the top. So the way we work it is that James, is, James has memory issues because of his conditions. So I'm in charge of doing the medication things because um, I, you know, my, I will remember to do it right and to do it. And then, so he just uses it when he's finished doing the day, he puts it on top like this. So I know these have to be filled and I fill them for whatever dosages he needs the next week. <laughs> and um, it's been great. We got it on Amazon. I think it was about £6 or something like that. It wasn't very expensive for 
and they have just broken everything. Uh, it wasn't very expensive and it's very handy and it sits very neatly um, on a little shelf and we could put we can lock the rest away so it is good um, so if you're looking for anything like that they have loads of different kinds depending on how many you need like we only need so far we only need morning and evening but we might need more after but they also have different types but I thought this with the holder make it sit nicely up on a shelf and it's actually pretty looking and the kitchen is clean and tidy minus the baskets that need to go up but James will have to do that because I'm not allowed to carry any heavy stuff and this is especially this one is very heavy so James will do it tonight and I'm gonna get Alfie dressed for school now <laughs> Is it cozy? Yes. Where's the Nappy Ninja gone? <laughs> nappy Ninja, where are you? By the way, Alfie is the Nappy Ninja. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Alfie has heard something. <laughs> this is what's happening every Thursday morning. Because... Do you know what's coming? Can you see that truck? This is the bin man and Alfie is obsessed with their truck. <laughs> Shouts hello at the window. The driver actually beeped the horn to, to, and waved at them and then the other one did a little dance for them. They know that every week they like Alfie will run to the window so every time they wave at him and all that it's, it's fun. I think it's nice because it makes their day a little bit more fun and um, one time the driver guy said to me uh, every time I go past your window they make me feel like a superhero. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of what, what you are to them, probably, especially Alfie with trucks. I have no idea Yay! what's going on this morning. I have no idea what they are doing this morning. They are both crazy. Are you doing a show? <laughs> Do you see heroes wear hats like these? All oh, right, okay. Good morning and happy Friday. It is another lovely Northern Irish day. I don't know if you can see, it's miserable outside. We're about to leave for the train station. I have a really bad belly today and the weather is really bad for me, so my hot water bottle is coming in the car. I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, to fill it and go. And then last day of school runs and all that. Can't wait. I managed to wash my hair this morning as well. And it's the last time before a while I condition that much length. It's down to, yeah, there. Right now, it's very long. Too long to manage. But it's getting chopped tomorrow. I'm back from school and I've set myself a mission for today. As you can see from the, the state of my little baby hair going curly and my ponytail, uh, it is raining a lot outside. Uh, this is the state of my kitchen workshop at the minute. I have started a mission. Um, we have lost James's car registration certificate and I'm pretty sure we actually had lost it or we couldn't find it already for his MOT. <gasps> I just found it. Oh my god, I'm so... I should have vlogged earlier. I have just found it. Seriously, I have looked in that box a million times. A million times I went through every single paper and I could not find it and it is here and it, we had the same issue this box has not been touched since last year and I just found it yay so I'm about to film my little box video it arrived today and Alfie fell asleep in the buggy on the way to school this hasn't happened in a long time uh, the last time it happened it was still last school year um, he's been asking to go inside the buggy uh, yesterday and today just to have a wee rest and today he asked to go into it before the school run when usually he was going insane to not go inside it and he fell asleep which is great because at least it's not too late and he has a rest he really needed it he woke up quite early this morning and my phone is vibrating so yeah I'm gonna make the most of it and get stuff done and film my video I 
I feel the need to show you my face like this. This is not something I will do every day and probably not ever again. I love dark lipstick and bright lipstick, but I don't have the confidence to put it off. So I'm going to go and take this off, but it's a sneak peek into my little box. Um, this video is probably live already whenever you're watching this and it's potentially the most negative review I've ever done of this subscription box and I feel bad in a way because I love it but I've always said I would give my very honest opinion and I gave it. So yeah, I'm not happy with the box at all this month. At all, at all, at all. So yeah, I'm gonna go take this off and take advantage of Alfie being asleep to do a bit of planning, a bit of work, a bit of relaxation and all that. And I will probably stop the vlogging for tonight and continue in the morning when I get this. See this? I'm thinking of going about this length, roughly. Yeah. Like, shoulder kind of length. Like this. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it would. So that means cutting this amount of hair, roughly. Yeah, I think that will suit me. That will be. Let's measure it. Let's measure. <laughs> Let's measure. Do I have something to measure here? I should, really. I have a... Um, this is going to be so good. I have a paper cutter <laughs> with a ruler on it. I will, it will do an, an estimate kind of thing. I'm cutting about 20 centimeters off my hair tomorrow. That's That's... Well, I'm cutting off because I can't stand it anymore. It's too long. It's far too long and the ends are so damaged I can't stand it anymore. So keep watching if you want to see what I look like after my haircut because this will be next in the vlog. See you then! A very quick hello and happy Saturday. I'm late for the hairdresser so I need to run and this is coming off and I'll show you the result after. Are you ready? Ta -da! It's very hard to show from here but and it's also very straight which I would not wear it like that but it's shoulder length and um, I decided to go for layers but not at the front to leave it longer at the front I just felt like it was nice uh, like this and I have like some layers on the back just so it sits well and at least all my rest of fringe and baby hair and all is blended in now completely and the ends are much nicer it's also much shinier I'm really happy to have shorter hair again I'm gonna play with it quite a lot I think but yeah that's a much more manageable length uh, it's probably gonna go up a little bit once um, it's not super straight like with straighteners but at least I can I feel like it's a lot more manageable and I'm very pleased with it I'm gonna go home and get a few things sorted and then I'm gonna bring Owen to dance class and I have downloaded an episode of Outlander on my tablet to watch while I wait for him there. Good morning and happy Sunday. This is going on right now. This is one of their favorites. This is called the Alfie Mobile. Owen goes there and Alfie takes the handle and he just. And my and the Owen Mobile is the Alfie Sinton join my person around. Yeah. <laughs> so this is going on. I am making some Vietnamese spring rolls. I got um, this is something if you know where to find them in the UK, especially online, they are so uh, the rice pancake kind of thing. Not the ones you can find, not the thick ones, the Vietnamese one. Uh, to be able to do them raw as well. I can find this here and I would like to find it to be able to make it. I have brought it back from France this time. Same with the sauce. If you know where to find this sauce here in the UK, please let me know. I would love to. It's a seasoning sauce. I think if I put fish sauce it would be fine. But um, yes, that's what I need. And so there is pork mince and black mushrooms, carrots, rice noodles, onions and seasoning in there. So I'm just cooking it now to uh, make the filling and then I will roll them all and show you.
Not sure you can hear me, but this is how something that started very productive turned into a disaster. Put two spring rolls into the oil and they exploded. Then I thought I'm going to bake them instead. And I picked up the oil, this oil bottle from there and dropped it. And there's oil all over the floor. And it's stinking. <laughs> Great! Here is the failure. Just waiting on the oven to preheat. Um, I know they can be done this way as well. Um, I usually make them much smaller and so the um, the rice pancake around them is doubled up and I don't own a deep um, hold on, turn around. I don't own a deep deep fryer, is that how you call it? You know that thing to cook so I virtually never deep fry food. And usually I cook them in a shallow pan um, and turn them round and round and round, but it's not very handy. So I thought I would do them the proper deep frying way and put a whole bottle of oil in a pan and it didn't work. So there you go, now it is my oven ready. So I've put them all on the baking tray, I've put oil on the bottom and I've used a brush to brush oil on top of them. Show you there, I don't know if you can see. There they are and they're gonna go in for 20 minutes. And I think what I'll do is that I'll turn them over halfway through and hopefully that should do the trick. So if you want to see the verdict, I've created a new recipe, okay? It's called stuffed rice pancake and <laughs> it's open on one side because that's how it's meant to be, obviously. These are wrong, you know, these are completely wrong. We're all going to eat the broken one. These one, most of them actually have a cut underneath. Um, I, I'm going to, next time I double up the pancake, it was too thin and broke in the oven. I didn't put enough oil on the bottom and I couldn't turn them over. So the taste seems right and the smell seems right. So it's just a matter of tweaking it. Um, I'm just going to see there, it's only broken there, but anyway, they are done. <laughs> this is what we're having for lunch. Okay, this is my old recipe book. Let's go to the... Let's go to the dessert and baking section. Um, I need something that I can make easily. Oh, chocolate mousse. I kind of feel like making chocolate mousse. Ooh. I might make chocolate mousse. We'll see. Um, cake. I kind of feel like a cake like for afternoon, which I was teased later on today. Chocolate cake. Um... Welsh cake. Oh, I don't know what to do. Marble cake, maybe? It's the first thing that came to my head. Maybe I might do marble cake. <coughs> yeah. We're gonna go for marble, marble cake. First thing I do is to put the chocolate, cut it in pieces, I put some water at the bottom and I put it in the microwave to melt. So putting the oven to preheat. Um, because we have a fan assisted oven, I've put it at 205. Otherwise, you want it at 220 degrees. And you need two bowls. I use a big one and then a smaller one. Am I zoomed in? No. And then you need a whisk and then some kind of spoon. Uh, I'm going to put first the eggs and the sugar in the, all in the big bowl to first. So 150 grams of sugar and five eggs in the big bowl. And then you want to whisk it all together. You cut up 250 grams of sugar and you put it in a microwavable bowl and you melt it. And excuse the noise in the background. This monkey is doing I don't know what. Alfie the sink is full, he wants to play at the sink, but it's full. Alfie it's full. I'll bring him up the stairs. You go in the bath soon. And add 250 grams of plain flour. And then you just whisk it. Incorporate it a little bit like this. You add your melted butter. And then you whisk again and that should make it a lot easier to mix everything together. Last but not least, you add your uh, baking powder. So if you're in France, one sachet. If you are in the UK, that's 11 grams. You then look something like this. And you want now to put half of this batter into your second bowl. If you've done that, you add your melted chocolate into the second smaller bowl as well as 50 grams of sugar if you've been using very dark chocolate left of the first bowl you want to add some vanilla you should now have some chocolate batter and vanilla batter for the tin there's no right or wrong i like to use a uh, like loaf tin i have this one is quite wide and i think it's quite good for that otherwise you can also do it in a round tin or a square tin or any tin you like 
the process that's coming next you just adjust it to the, the, the shape of tin you have I'm gonna start by pouring some vanilla or chocolate it doesn't really matter there's no right or wrong in this it's gonna be a marble cake so it's gonna be quite random what you're gonna get but you put some butter of one kind then you cover it you put some butter of the next kind and so on and so forth I just put some chocolate on top now I'm gonna put some vanilla again it doesn't have to be precise at all it's just very random you've put all your batters in some sort of layers you have something like this and you want to grab both sides now, I can't do it with both hands grab both sides and you kind of tap it to try and flatten the top as much as you can without spreading it so now as you can see there all the batter is kind of leveled and it's kind of sunk into each other a bit more so I'm now going to put that in the oven <sighs> depends a lot on your oven I'm going to put it initially for 35 minutes and then see what it's like and then add a bit more if I need to but I'll keep you updated on that and for the first time of doing the dishes and cleaning up it's actually not too bad and I'm still I'm finishing I have a new one of these one is the sunny citrus kitchen one I love it so much and this is almost the end as you can see I have liked it I didn't include this in my favorites I should have there is the result of the marble cake I'm gonna have some cake and uh, then I'll put the boys in the bath get bedtime sorted and all that and when I'm in the bath I need to put the sheets back on the beds I've stripped them all to clean to wash the sheets and then tidy up the floors in the living room and kitchen so I stop the vlog for this week can, can everybody say bye bye to it's the end of the weekly vlog bye Alfie can say bye bye say Alfie say bye bye camera say bye bye no still not bye bye